So today we're going to start soldering up our 3-axis stepper motor driver from Hobby CNC and build a CNC motor driver. So let's get started on that. So I have my cheap knockoff solder station and I'm ready to put the board together. I've got everything organized. I've got my board down here and I've got it on a helping hands. I've got my soldering iron close at hand with all the tools for that. My instruction sheet with a pencil and I'll mark off each step. So I'm ready to go. I'm just going to take my time with this and read the instructions. Do it one by one till we're done. Let's get started with that. I want to give you an idea how easy this is to start, so we'll do the first one together. It says insert the six 10K resistors, okay? And he, he even puts what they are, the color brown, black, black, red, brown. We'll look for them in our parts in a minute. And we're going to insert six of them. R1, R2, R3, R4, R5, and R6. It says simply bend the leads over to fit in the PCB holes. And then it says always use an ohms meter to verify the values before soldering. In other words, you know, check the resistors. So let's go to our parts bin and find, find six 10K resistors. Let's do that. Okay, so I put all my parts that came with a kit in this handy little divider and I found the resistors that it was talking about, the 10K. And if you look on this very carefully, I don't know if you can see that, but this one is brown, black, black, red, brown. And if you're having trouble seeing this, you can use a magnifying glass. If you look over here I've got a magnifying glass in case I have trouble and you can also verify it on an ohms meter like this is talking about I'll show you how to do that hang on okay so I have my ohms meter set on 20k because it's closest to 10 10k which the instructions call for and you can just take the resistor that you think is a 10k and put the two leads on it and hold it you can see that this one comes in at 9.93 so that's a 10k resistor close enough and the instructions say to check all six and that's a good idea just good practice okay let's figure out where these go so again our instructions say to put the 10k resistors in holes R1, R2, R3, R4, R5 and R6 so let's look at our board here. This is the silk screen for the circuit board. And if you look right here, it might take a little bit of looking, but you can see there's R1, R2, there's R3, R4, there's R5 and R6. So it's just a simple matter of taking the 10K resistors. Here we got a resistor and bending the leads like that and putting it in the holes here let me pick this up and there we go I got it in there so there's our first one there's R1 let's put another one in let's do R2 and there's another one I just popped in and you don't have to but I like to keep the colors in the same order you know makes it look pretty and I'll go ahead and put the rest of these in and then uh, I'll show you how we connect them to the back with solder so here you can see where I've put all six resistors in the 10k that they told me in the instructions now we just have to flip the board over and attach it by soldering let's flip that over now alright so we're looking at the back of the board now and you can see these resistors the legs on them what I did is I just spread them apart a little bit so that the part you know doesn't drop out the bottom 
and uh, I always push on the part and then bend the legs to the side so that uh, they're tight to the board. So now we just put them in and we're just going to heat it up a little bit on each one and put them in. I know you guys that have been doing this a while are probably bored with this but I'm doing this for the people that are new to putting things together and want to give it a try and don't have you know are not sure if they want to do this it's really not hard everything's labeled and as long as you pay attention carefully you can do it so I'm, I've got my soldering iron heated up here and just want to make sure the tip's clean that's what I'm doing here we go apply a little heat and then add the solder in and then back it off I like the solder and iron best $35 I've spent in a while Just take your time. No rush. Good. And then what I like to do, so I've got my board here, and I've got another helping hands with a magnifying glass attached. Now, I don't always do this, but uh, it's nice because you can get in there and make sure that uh, you know you've got enough solder on, and that it's a clean joint. You know, so check it out. And another tip that I do is I get an old toothbrush like this, and I scrub around it. But usually, what I'll do is I'll clip the leads first, and I have a, like a side cutter for electronics, and I just come in here and very carefully cut the leads to size like that see that just trim them off real close you don't want to cut the circuit board or anything like that but you can see how I've trimmed those then take your toothbrush and just clean up the area like that and you can use a little alcohol too if you want to but uh, I usually leave that for the end Okay, so that's it. I'm just going to go ahead and um, we've done number one. I'm just going to go on through and mark these with a pencil as I do them. And it's that simple. We'll put it on fast forward now and I'll just go ahead and finish up. Here we go. And I also wanted to mention that I did a soldering tutorial um, quite a while ago and I'll put the link in the corner and that will teach you how to solder um, using good methods you know so you get a good bond so check that out this is one of those instances where I can't tell if the bands are a certain color and it says it's a 750k so I'm checking it and yes it is I just wanted to make a note that there's a little dot on these resistor networks let me see if I can show you you can see there's a dot right there you have to line that with the dot on the silk screen you'll see it in the directions I just thought I would stop and mention that thing I'm putting the capacitors in now and 
I don't know if you know this or not, but there's a longer lead on one of the two. And the longer one is plus, and if you look on the board here, and there's a plus sign, so you make sure that the longer one goes in the plus. Now, I guess I should mention that this board is also used for a fourth axis machine. Now, I have the three axis version, but if you have if you bought the fourth, you'll get parts to populate this area too. But uh, we're just doing these. Plus, there'll be a section down here. Okay. just completed steps 19 so we're at a crossroads where we have to check our work and then we have to start doing some testing so we're going to keep that for next time and then uh, we'll continue so thanks for watching make sure you give us one of these thumbs ups and let us know what you think in the comments we'll see you on the next one thanks for watching bye for now